Does Filey always execute in Python? For any possible try Filey block in Python, is it guaranteed that the Filey block will always be executed? For example, let's say I return while in an accept block. Or maybe I re-raise an exception. Testing shows that finally does get executed for the above examples, but I imagine there are other scenarios I haven't thought of. Are there any scenarios in which a finally block can fail to execute in Python? Guarantee is a much stronger word than any implementation of finally deserves. What is guaranteed is that if execution flows out of the whole try finally construct, it will pass through the finally to do so. What is not guaranteed is that execution will flow out of the try finally. A finally in a generator or async coroutine might never run, if the object never executes the conclusion. There are a lot of ways that could happen, here's one. Note that this example is a bit tricky. When the generator is garbage collected, Python attempts to run the finally block by throwing in a generator exit exception. But here we catch that exception and then yield again, at which point Python prints a warning, generator ignore generator exit, and gives up. See PEP 342, coroutines via enhanced generators, for details. Other ways a generator or coroutine might not execute to conclusion include if the object is just never ex. Yes, that's possible, even in Python, or if an async with awaits an underscore exit underscore, or if the object awaits or yields in a finally block. This list is not intended to be exhaustive. A finally in a daemon thread might never execute if all non-daemon threads exit first. Auth underscore exit will halt the process immediately without executing finally blocks. Auth fork may cause finally blocks to execute twice, as well as just the normal problems you'd expect from things happening twice. This could cause concurrent access conflicts, crashes, stalls if access to shared resources is not correctly synchronized. Since multiprocessing uses fork without exec to create worker processes when using the fork start method, the default on Unix, and then calls us dot underscore exit in the worker once the worker's job is done, finally a multiprocessing interaction can be problematic. Example, a C-level segmentation fault will prevent finally blocks from running. Kill C kill will prevent finally blocks from running. Sig Charm and Syop will also prevent finally blocks from running unless you install a handler to control the shutdown yourself. By default, Python does not handle Sig Charm or Syop. An exception and finally can prevent cleanup from completing. One particularly noteworthy case is if the user hits Ctrl C just as we're starting to execute the finally block. Python will raise a keyboard interrupt and skip every line of the finally block's contents. Keyboard interrupt safe code is very hard to write. If the computer loses power, or if it hibernates and doesn't wake up, finally blocks won't run. The finally block is not a transaction system, it doesn't provide atomicity guarantees or anything of the sort. Some of these examples might seem obvious, but it's easy to forget such things can happen and rely on finally for too much. Yes. Finally always wins. The only way to defeat it is to halt execution before finally column gets a chance to execute, for example crash the interpreter, turn off your computer, suspend a generator forever. I imagine there are other scenarios I haven't thought of. Here are a couple more you may not have thought about.
Depending on how you quit the interpreter, sometimes you can cancel finally, but not like this. Using the precarious dot underscore exit, this falls under crash the interpreter in my opinion. I'm currently running this code, to test if finally will still execute after the heat death of the universe. However, I'm still waiting on the result, so check back here later. According to the Python documentation, no matter what happened previously, the final block is executed once the code block is complete and any raised exceptions handled. Even if there's an error in an exception handler or the else block and a new exception is raised, the code in the final block is still run. It should also be noted that if there are multiple return statements, including one in the finally block, then the finally block return is the only one that will execute. Well, yes and no. What is guaranteed is that Python will always try to execute the finally block. In the case where you return from the block or raise an uncaught exception, the finally block is executed just before actually returning or raising the exception. What you could have controlled yourself by simply running the code in your question. The only case I can imagine where the finally block will not be executed is when the Python interpreter itself crashes for example inside C code or because of power outage. <laughs>